So this video we are going to talk about Apostle Osa Osai and I uh, want to be very clear on this particular video he is tackling the issue of the viewpoint of TB Joshua so called being born again which is a primary doctrine it kind of defines whether you're a Christian or you're not also going to be very clear I don't exactly agree with him on every one of these doctrines or the things that he teaches we have made videos where we show that I think I did one video with with uh, with okay what's up okay now they are back <laughs> okay i don't know what's up with the lights anyway but uh uh luckily it's half of the thingy so it doesn't take out all the bill all, all the lights of the building and it's important because if you are not clear on that on what you agree with or what you don't agree with it creates problems and it's important even you guys sometimes in the comment section you don't agree with certain things that i say it is okay we can have the conversation that's why we have the live streams on saturdays and so on this one he is talking particularly about what tv joshua was weird on and so not me straight from him we, we need to investigate it quickly at this time someone that said he got born again. His, his experience of salvation is that he got born again in his mother's womb. That was a person's salvation testimony. That he got born again in the mother's womb. And someone, I don't know what is happening. Even if we were jinxed, if it's a charm, a spare, no spell is that strong. To make us change the goalpost of salvation because of a philanthropist we no longer understand the the basic tenets of our belief system for your information um the man in question was a soothsayer and it was a spirit of divination that was at work yes i i know this in the spirit and i've seen many of his victims come to this place for deliverance i have been in the struggle yes i speak from the struggle May the Lord give you understanding. Yes. So in our day, if you can buy a good suit and you look kept, and you can say, hallelujah, amen. Even the demoniac that was possessed with demons, he was able to call the name of Jesus. In this day of the iniquity of the sanctuary, the gift we need for survival now is called the gift of discernment. Of so because this guy is used to action, he's used to activity, when the authority of God was withdrawn from him, he had to keep the action going, he ended up with the demonic dimension because there's a close relationship between fleshly manipulation and the demonic dimension because some of you might wonder and say, last two years when i came to him he was burning with the flames of god what is happening oh two years is too long christianity we're talking about is an everyday thing if you put yourself in a situation where people can talk to you you know when you are airing you will never know if you take the notebook that is before you now you put it on your eyes you'll not be able to read it found out that there was a need for us to re-excavate the landscape of doctrine and build accurately again because a lot of error has has been sold so a man can start with real divine authority and a few years down the line he's now operating with a different spirit so that is what he had to say. Very hectic. Hmm? Yeah, from the spirit realm, spirit realm things are happening. <laughs> you are just here <laughs> praying in your canality. <laughs> I'm okay where, <laughs> where I am. I just have to judge on the basis of doctrine. Uh, what I like about the video, let's be very clear, what I like is that he refers to the doctrinal aspect okay so he doesn't just say it's a spirit spirit thing but he also refers to the doctrinal aspect so for tb joshua to say, to say that he was born again in his mother's womb that tells you the man was not saved probably not me no in tb joshua's own words to say that he was born again in his mother's womb no it doesn't work like that not salvation not salvation you can find and i like one particular point that he also mentioned he says we cannot twist doctrine just to side with a man mm. boy i love it <laughs> yeah, you see when you say that ah no then, then i know i absolutely love that particular part and so y'all tell me if you have seen the video and i want to be very clear on when it comes to church doctrine you always listen to what the bible says you take the side of the bible then everything else must be matched to the bible if a man says something you can't verify it no 
they are back again. Okay, I'm gonna finish off this video so that they don't burn my lights, and I'll see you on the next video. It's the reality show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. Other videos done today, they'll be done in the pinned comments because if they keep doing this, they'll burn my LEDs. So that's good. Other videos done in the pinned comments. See you later.